Welcome to episode 13, 14 of my Fallout 4 playthrough. Um, my plan now is just like the beginning of last episode, I want to make my way over to Green Top Nursery. Last time I got sidetracked at West Everett Estates. And I'm still not sure if this is on my map or not, but I can at least fast travel to the hospital and go from there. But before that, I noticed that I have still this quest to bring a bloatfly gland, and I just checked in my inventory, and it turns out I have... It's considered junk, which is why I kept dropping it off, because it just auto-drops at these things, so... I'm gonna grab one, and hope that I remember next time I'm in Diamond City. I guess you've got your reasons. That just looks like junk to me. The hell is Preston? Oh, there he is. Yeah. Shut up. <laughs> is this all repaired? Yep. Okay, that's almost empty, but then these are full. I'm just reviewing. So this is my number one weapon is the sniper. Two is a shotgun below ammo. Three is the silenced pipe auto pistol. Four, this weapon that I've barely Another used. Sent word that they need our help. Hey, do you think we're ready to retake the castle? I'll think about it and get back to you. Your call. Just let me. Uh -huh. I just got some bad news. Maybe you can find out where those bastards are coming from and put a stop huh. to it. Okay. So he'd already given me the quest to to go to Green Top, which is what I was trying to do. Now he's saying go to County Crossing. Where is that? Huh. So it's actually closer. Closer to West Everett. Okay, well, I'm going to go to Green Top anyway. Are these the guys? No. Hmm, maybe they are. There's somebody who lives in the shadow of, like, the place where the forged are. Well, whatever. Let's go to Green Top. So turn that off. Sh uh, go into stealth. Oh yeah, he interrupted me. I was reviewing my weapons. The fifth one is just this. Yeah. Okay. Now he's looking at me like he expects me to say something. Okay. So, hospital's right there. As I spawned in, it sounded like there was something, some sound, but maybe not. I still don't know if this is officially on my map or not. I think it looked the same way when it wasn't. I'm just going to see if getting closer to it puts it on my map. Okay, right, so this is now on my map. <laughs> Looks practically the same. There's a couple of raiders here. This is a railroad sign that indicates danger. So why is this on my map? Hmm. Well, maybe some other time. Still want to keep going toward green top. There's something else I'm near here. Is this the insane asylum? No. 
Huh. The light's on in here. Makes me wonder. It says keep out. Slocum Joe Corporate HQ. I keep thinking about there being a Slocum Joe where there are synths waiting to ambush me. But I don't think it's this place. Hmm. I remember doing... S I think I did something significant here in the previous playthrough. Just have no idea what. Looks like I might be able to get on top. like a place that raiders might hang out, but I don't see any. Like this awning with the light somehow looks like raiders. I don't think I want to go in here. Well, continuing on. Basketball court. I fought a death claw here on the previous playthrough. I'm tempted to screw on with these basketballs, but I'm wondering if the Death Claw is going to be there this time as well. I think he was over there. certainly prefer not to run into a death claw. I don't even know if I have enough ammo to kill one. I think I picked up a fair amount of minigun ammo, but I'm not carrying the gun. I think the 38 caliber, the weapon that I just pulled out is what I have the most of, but it does so little damage. See that treasure chest down there. Sting wings messing around over there. Not sure if it's worth messing around with them.
Oh, and that's green top right there. Some bad shooting. Yeah, the ground is shaking. I'm wondering if that's a death claw. place. I'd like to finish off the sting wings and get the treasure that's down there. I have a suspicion this may be what triggers the death claw. But I want the loot. And because Green Top is right there, if I do piss off a death claw, I think I can run back to it and the death claw will distract them. <laughs> He might kill some of them, too. So where's the other Stingwing? I saw the experience get registered for one of them. I don't know how to get back out of here. Well, given that I found Green Top, I think worst case I can fast travel out of here. So I'll just go down. Shit, there he is. <laughs> I don't know if I can sneak up without him noticing.
All right, so that's where the death claw is. Like I say, I feel like I just don't have enough ammo to go after him. Now, if I had, if I was carrying a mini gun, or I had a bunch more shotgun shells. Maybe I could go after him with melee if I was carrying the Ripper. But at this point, I feel like I would just expend all of my ammo, get experience that's not worth it. So, I'll let him go. So he must have killed the Stingwing, or at least one of them. That's fine, I'll just leave him alone. Hey, this is a merchant. Good caps to be made protecting folk. Hey, Lucas. Got the best armor in these parts. I'll take a look, sure. Got plenty of stock. Huh, he doesn't have any ammo. That's frustrating. Take your time. We could really use your help. What do you need? Something nasty's living just around the corner from here. It's only what's really too bad is it'd be a if you could make sure the old workshop there is still in one piece. No problem. I'll take care of them for you. I hope so. We didn't know what to do. So you said something nasty is right around the corner. It would make a lot of sense if he was talking about the Death Claw. <laughs> but instead he's talking about Sunshine Tidings. Right, which is on the other side of the map. <laughs> yeah, right around the corner. If you go right and wrap it around. Alright, well, I'm not gonna go there. I don't wanna mess with the Death Claw. So I think I'll steal his produce, because I can make adhesive, and then go to County Crossing. So let's switch this up. And I guess I'll get out of the armor just to do the quick rounds of produce collecting. It would suck if I got down here and he's like, oh, this is stealing. I have to be a little bit careful grabbing these things because I think other things are. Cons yeah, see, that would be stealing. I really wish these games had a setting where you could just tell it that you didn't want to steal or that if you attempted to steal, it would just give you a quick confirmation. So just doing it and then suddenly they all want to kill you and you have to kill them because they don't seem to like the NPCs in this game don't surrender or don't don't accept surrenders the way they did in Skyrim so if you accidentally grab one wrong thing you just you know death penalty all right so now let's head south on my compass, there's this observation post. I guess I'll put it on my map. I think in the previous game, I never went inside of it. It has a couple um, laser turrets, if I remember right, guarding it. Hmm. But that's architecture of super mutants. And this is, I think, yeah, that's right. There's a... Um, if I'm remembering the right place... This is a place super mutants like to hang out, and then there's another settlement over here who tends to like to send me to the super mutants... ...repeatedly. Okay, since I'm here, I'm gonna just check it out. I think 
Oh yeah, definitely. In my previous game, I somehow this quest bugged or this location bugged out. Like it, I couldn't clear it, even though everyone was dead. All right, so let's just drop land. One right there, and then he's got a couple friends. I think that's one there, too. There's a branch in my way here. Alright, that's a better shot. Let's try with this. What? I don't get it. Is he too far away to register? Has the game not really spawned him in? I think at least one of these guys is a suicider. So I'm a bit worried about not having protection there. I don't get it. Wrong weapon. So far, I don't see a suicider. I don't even know where I'm being shot from. So there should be one still up here, who I don't see. Oh, there he is. Yeah, but I took fire from the left. I still don't see him. So there's two.
steam pack going. I think I dropped one landmine over here, but I don't need... Uh, I lost track of where I... Oh, is that it there? Yeah. didn't loot this guy yet. There's two of them actually here. Okay, I think I've looted everybody now. Get it. How the hell was that guy sitting there that whole time? <laughs> that was weird. Somehow I didn't notice him and he didn't notice me. And then his reaction was to <laughs> make the longest howl ever. gun has so much sway to it. Oh, come on. weird how he turns the wrong way back there. So 
So I think that was the most dangerous of the enemies. But I think there may still be one or two more back behind that structure. This thing has a trap. This is weird because, yeah, I can't disarm this one. It looks like a Tesla whatever. I can only disarm this one. Oh, this is where this guy went. So I'm going to stay in the power armor as I move around to the back side. There's a turret here. I didn't do that. Alright, don't want to go in there just yet because, like I say, I think there may be. Okay, this was the first area I thought there might be somebody. There's not. The other is by one of these trees? Yeah. I thought there would be two guys here and one guy next to those cans. But evidently everyone got excited and came running over to fight me. So I should be able to just go ahead and get out of the armor and loot this place. And hope I don't run into any landmines. Oh, an assault rifle. I don't have very much 556, five, but in my previous playthrough, the assault rifle was really. Gunfire. Okay. Let's get back in the armor. I say the assault rifle was like my my go-to emergency weapon. So I'm glad to have found that, and I see there's something I didn't loot up there, but I want to know who's fighting. I, I don't recognize this gunfire. Oh, you know what this is? These are robots. It's like a Mr. Gutsy. And a death claw? Yeah, see the assault tron. He's fighting the Death Claw. The Assault Run is winning. Okay, so the Deathclaw is dead. The Gutsy is alive and the Assaultron is alive. And the Assaultron is angry with me. Don't really want to fight an Assaultron. Thought maybe if I put a couple bullets into the Deathclaw, I'd at least get experience when he died. Evidently not. And I, I think I could kill the Assaultron, but only by pouring a lot of ammo into it. Alright, so I'm not going to go pick that fight. 
I just want to resume looting here and hope I don't attract too much attention from those guys. I think I've looted everything here, except for a couple Nuka Colas that were up on this thing. Yeah, Saltron is still wigging out down there. I don't even think those robots have anything good. They're just always there and they like to pick fights. But they're not guarding any loot or... And it's not the kind that gives you fusion cores when you kill them. They're just tough as hell. No benefit. I mean, it's possible there's a fusion core inside the, um, you know, one of those trucks or whatever that they're near, but I, I don't remember anything like that for that particular truck. Alright, so continuing on to some farm whose name I already forgot. The site that I'm approaching, I believe, has some laser turrets. I'm planning on just bypassing it once I get it on the map. So I never went in it before, so I don't know of anything worth risking the fight. See, I think that's one of the laser turrets detecting me. No, it's moving. Area secure. Oh, it's a protector on. Unidentified intruder detected. Beginning search. False well, alarm. Screw it. Okay, so that that's the entrance down there. They don't really want to fight the Protectron. They're not that tough, but again, they don't offer a lot of loot. That's the turret. Why? I 
See, if I draw the Protectron over toward the Yagwai, they'll fight each other. Oh, there he is. Alright, I'm going to try to shoot this guy. He's nowhere near his laser turret friends. I think maybe these things only have a melee attack. Hopefully it's not like a Mr. Gutsy and it explodes. It's just useless. No loot whatsoever. Okay, so continuing on, it looks like I'm going to pass a police station or something before I get to my destination. Maybe there will be any winter tapes. Man, I don't want... Okay, fine. Do much damage. May as well eat something stupid. Fine. Wonderful shooting. Now he's running away. I don't get what makes him run away. Just like, is he aware of his level and my level? And that's why he runs away? exactly making very fast progress. It's just tough because I know I'm so ammo constrained. Everything takes so many to kill. Even this weapon I'm already down to just a hundred. And these 38 calibers I started with over 700 of them at the beginning of this episode. I've already burned at least two, maybe 250. I don't know where that stupid stingwing went. This is, it's like National Guard Training Yard. And there's 
turrets. There's a turret right there. There's at least one more, maybe that one. And it's got these defenses set up as if there were gunners or raiders, but I think it's actually all feral zombies or whatever. There's ammo there. I don't know how to get on top of that. And that's that satellite array. I guess so, yeah, like the Revere satellite array, and there's a, a super mutant with, armed with a missile launcher in that satellite dish. Okay. So if I move over to this hill... All right. I guess I'll start with this one. weird how the turrets sort of like look at you for a little bit after they get shot like <laughs> they're trying to stare you down yeah so that's a caravan because I don't have any settlers on supply runs yet They're going to get shot at by turrets around the front side, I think. Because these turrets respawn. And I remember they would keep respawning and I would have to keep killing them because their turrets would be in range of my turrets. Fusion core in there that I can't get access to. I think I've been in there, so there must be a key available somewhere. Yeah, in fact, I'm going toward the settlement right now that would normally get into a fight with the turret that's on that roof up ahead. And there's a couple of zombies that'll spawn in there. I think, I think those guys must have been fighting a Mirelurk. 
So I think there's a Mirelurk that likes to spawn in this area. I don't see its body anywhere. But again, periodically when I would... Uh, now I'm confused about where... All oh, right, so over that ridge is a settlement. Oh, there's a Mirelurk. Maybe that's the Mirelurk. Clear shot. Yeah. So I'm thinking there were two of them. That one's dead. I don't see the other one. But they would just keep periodically respawning. I wonder if the only way up there is with the jetpack. Same with these turrets. They would just respawn periodically, cause a stupid fight. Sort of dumb. Yeah, they're fighting something else up there. So there's a turret up here still, right? Yeah. So my other sniper rifle would do a little bit less than half damage. Interesting. That might be that caravan engaging the forged. Because their hideout is near here. I don't know if there are any more mines or not. And I don't remember what's in the National Guard recruitment office. As usual, it's, I don't know if it's worth the ammo it'll cost me to go in there and clean it out. I guess, I guess it would make more sense if the caravan was fighting super mutants, but then they would probably have spawned in. Okay, so this is where I was headed. Hey there, friend. We're in some real trouble. Maybe you can help. What do you need? It's these damn green skins. They take everything they can eat. Sure. We can't live like this. I'll take care of those super mutants. I hope so. We didn't know what to do. Fenuel Hall. Huh. If this is the building I'm thinking of... It's just a one-room thing with a tower on top that I never could figure out how to get on top of. All right, well, I'm not quite ready to go down there. I think I want to go to the other... Actually, maybe I'll go kill the super mutants that are at the satellite array. Before that, I'll just 
grab the produce from these guys. I think at this point I have enough adhesive to build everything I need, but uh, you know, if not, I'm obviously going to want this stuff. Let's go over to Satellite Array to see if we can make some friends. And I definitely... yeah, there's definitely a um, Suicider here. So I'm gonna want to put out some landmines. Okay, so the second level of detail just spawned in, and there are the mutants. Okay. So they're only on the map now. That's the missile guy up there. And the trouble with approaching it from this angle is the missile guy can see me. Okay, I know if I slide around to the left where the actual, um, I wonder if that distress signal is up there at the satellite dishes, no, cause, ah, uh, whatever, <laughs> now it's back. Yeah, if I slide around to the left, then I can fight the mutants from across a, a little river area, which they have a hard time navigating. And it puts me out of visibility range of the missile guy. Because he's, you know, he's very inaccurate, but if he manages to somehow send a missile in my direction, it's not going to be good. I wonder if there's anything good in here. Oh, I think that's a power armor suit. Okay. Who's ready to have their rose tent? Come to that landmine. Thought he went right over my landmine. I guess I've never tried to use a landmine against a Mr. Gutsy. Hmm. 
Hmm. Was it the super mutants that were angry? I don't know. So I guess I still need to heal some more. these are as good as what I have. And they're all heavy. Stealth boy. So I'll just leave that there. If I were gonna use followers, I might grab it for a follower. But I'm not all right, so what I wanted to do now, get over here and get this settlement on my map. Looks like they're fighting something. Idiot. I didn't know Brahmin had names. So why are they agitated? Oh. <laughs> they were being terrorized by a bloat fly in a falling car. This thing's glowing. What is this doing? Well, don't you worry, son. There's someone out there for you. Hey, you're the one. You. Who's worried. Oh, sorry. I thought you might be one of those forged maniacs, but you don't have the burns. A group of them took over the old ironworks, and they'll shoot you just as soon as look at you. Who are the forged? Bunch of trumped-up raiders. That bastard son of mine, Jake. He grabbed my granddad's old sword. I don't guess you'd be crazy enough to try it. <laughs> I'll find it. You're doing me a big favor. Uh-huh. I guess somehow I thought that quest was part of the Minuteman structure. You have some sort of medical problem here, or... Actually, I need some... I got loads of stuff. So, I don't want to go after the forged yet. My goal is to go after the super mutants. But once again, I'll pick up the easily accessible produce first. And it's good that these guys have mute fruit and corn because the only other ingredient you need, besides water, about the razor grain is Tato, and I've got. I think I have a lot of that. Yeah, I don't think I have any with me though. Where did you put those fusion cells I set up the other day? I've been back in it. Junk pile, dear. You know the rule. Anything that ain't on the workbench is fair game when I'm cleaning. Well, couldn't you have asked me first, woman? I had to dig around in that pile for. <laughs> Really? If I had to stop and ask you left laying around, I'd need a week just to tidy up the house. That's why we made that rule in the first place. And I might remind you, Abraham Lowell Finch, that you agreed to it. All right, all right. I get the point, woman. <laughs> all right. Let's talk to some super mutants. I 
was hoping it would identify for me which one is uh, the suicider. Although it may not matter, because I don't think they can get to me anyway. Okay, but I'd like to have some cover. I guess this is what I used last time. wondering if maybe I shouldn't get out of my power armor so I can hold my breath. Yeah, all right. That's the missile guy right there. I thought he would stay up in his tower. Okay, this is a problem. I can hear there's an incoming missile. Jesus Christ. <laughs> this is a problem. in the thing. Oh, jeez, I'm gonna die. Ah, I thought he would get in quickly and said he was super slow about it. Guess that's what I get for getting out of my power armor. Rough night last night. Just a bad night. I've been about a death call tearing up the place. Stay asleep after that. 
Well, that's the end of this episode. Grumble.